top two things I hate about the garden. Hello, welcome to Seven Savings Garden, where we talk about gardening, ways to save money, and other special events. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Seven Savings Garden. So today I'm going to talk about two things I don't like about gardening. Um, I know um, some of you might say, why are you saying you don't like gardening if you um, you said you love gardening and you love doing stuff? Yes, I love gardening. I love planting. I love harvesting. I love pruning. I love doing other stuff in the garden. But these two things drive me crazy. So I try to avoid them or I try to prevent them. So the first thing is weeds in the garden. Let me show you um, my garden. I'll show you how the weeds are just covering the whole place and I'll show you what what I'm doing to try to uh, to stop that or try to prevent that so there are a couple of ways you can do it I'll show you how you can prevent that the second thing that I don't like about gardening is insects animals pests uh, slugs snails those things drive me crazy because after all the time and hard work you've uh, put into your garden and only to come the next day or a couple of days later and they have um, had a feast on your on your garden so those are some of the things that um, I try to avoid in the garden sometimes it's not possible but you try to limit them as much as you can so I hate uh, those two things apart from that I love everything else about gardening I love I can spend the whole day in the garden no problem uh, but sometimes when you have issues like this you have to try to find ways to either limit it or eliminate it so let's go I'll show you some of the ways that I'm doing to prevent some of these things or to limit some of these problems so this is my garden right here as you can see um, even though there's some uh, vegetables in there there's a lot of weeds growing all over the place underneath the pumpkin on the side of the pumpkin um, so you have weeds everywhere um, so we have um, a lot of weeds uh, over here and I can show you the other beds that also have a lot of weeds that are also being uh, at least weeds are covering some vegetables underneath or on the side of the pumpkin but the pumpkins are fine the other stuff on the side of the pumpkins are the weeds are also taking out nutrients they're also using up some of the nutrients from the garden so that's why i don't like having weeds over there like this bed you can see i have some vegetables i have some sweet bitter leaf i have some other stuff there but the weeds are also eating uh they also consuming some of the nutrients from the bed so um so i try to avoid avoid that and and try to get all the weeds out then we can uh, go to the next process so over here we took out some of the weeds already in this bed that we have water leaf um at least there's a little bit of weeds left but it's still you can see mostly but the water leaf on the bed over here which is not too bad so this one is the same thing um it, it has a lot of water leaf doesn't have a lot of weeds we took out some of the weeds we also took out some of the onion and transplanted some of the water leaf to this bed so this one is fine so i'm gonna try to cover it so that way weeds don't come out so uh, one thing that you can use to cover the beds um if you mow your lawn like i'm doing right now if you mow your lawn you can use the lawn clippings uh to cover it um but just make sure that if you're mowing your lawn make sure that there's not a lot of seeds if the grass has a lot of seeds on it the seeds are gonna transfer to your garden if you move uh the uh, the lawn clippings to the to the garden just make sure that the the lawn clippings that you you you're cutting like what i'm cutting right here has no seeds so these ones i can use them in the garden to cover the garden beds so if you have lawn clippings you can use that if you um if you know where you can get lawn clippings you can use lawn, lawn clippings so you can use uh, leaves shredded leaves you can use mulch you can use any other covering to cover it so as you can see over here this bed has a lot of weeds uh, so we, we're gonna weed it before we cover it so the preference is you can just put a um, lawn clippings and, and on top of it and cover it but it's not gonna do as well as if you just weed it get the weeds out first before you uh, before you put the uh, lawn clippings on it so this bed right here we we have uh, 
taken out most of the weeds. As you can see, we've taken out most of the weeds here. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna use the lawn clippings that I, I have just to cover the whole bed. So that way every surface of the bed is covered underneath the plants so that way it prevents the, uh, the weeds from coming out. You might have one or two weeds uh, coming out, but it's not gonna be as bad as the other beds which have no covering. So we're gonna start doing that right now. We're gonna start covering it. So like I said, any lawn clippings that you have, you can use it to, to cover your your garden. So I'm just using, uh, this is what I got from the garden, uh, from my from my yard. I'm just gonna use that to, just you just wanna sprinkle it half like an inch or two layer of, uh, of uh, the lawn uh, grass clippings, uh, just, uh, an inch or two just it, as long as it covers the surface of the bed it's gonna prevent light from getting underneath and it's gonna help prevent weeds from growing and uh, and uh, sucking up resources and also covering your your vegetables if you use grass clippings or any other uh, materials to cover your garden bed let me know in the comments below what you use to cover your garden bed if you have other methods of covering your garden bed let me know in the comments below um might be something that i don't know about but um that would be uh, nice for everybody else to know uh if you're using something else so we're just going to continue covering everything like i said um even the areas where it's really covered with the leaves like over here with the uh, kale that's uh has a good covering we're still going to cover it we don't want any uh weeds coming out underneath and covering or using the uh at least the resources that you have so we just want to make sure that we cover everything all the areas and you also just want to make sure that you don't bury uh some of your your seedlings or vegetables that, so you have to be careful when doing it just to make sure that you you cover just uh the surface so this is it we're done with this bed as you can see every surface is covered uh it's good and um, it's gonna help protect it and also it's gonna provide some barrier for um evaporation so it's, water is not going to easily evaporate it's going to help maintain the moisture in the soil and the plants are going to do better um without the weeds and without um the temperature uh, water drying up very very fast so uh, i hope this this is going to help stay tuned hopefully in a couple of weeks or months we're gonna see videos of the garden and i'm sure it's gonna be much better than this so when you do this uh, this is how it looks this is the one that i did last month uh, in this raised bed as you can see it covers it start decomposing and it becomes manual after about two or three months so it also provides nutrients to your plants so this is what i did uh about two months ago as you can see some of them have broken down into uh, the soil and it's breaking down so it's time to cover it again so after about a couple of months um you can put another layer again on top of it to cover it the other thing that i don't like about gardening is uh pest in the garden and for pests in the garden you can see this is a uh, um color green right here it's been eaten by uh insects and snails uh this one is mostly um uh, snails eating the the leaves over here um, you also have insects eating some of the leaves. I'll show you uh, the other ones that are being eaten by by insects. So when you have a vegetable like this and it's eating the leaves, uh, it it can uh, um, reduce the uh, the growth and affect the growth of the leaf. Let me show you what's going on over here with this. Um, let me show you these over here. These are being eaten by uh, microscopic insects. Uh, you can see them even during the day. You can see them. Uh, they usually come out at night and they eat the the leaves and then the uh, vegetable is not able to to grow and get all the nutrients it needs from the leaf uh, from the leaves and and so the the plant doesn't do well so you can see all these well, have been eaten by insects over here these ones have been eaten by snails and the snails come out at night and just eat the leaves so um i have a couple of videos that sh showed you how i i treated these um, I'll see if I can put the link in the description so that you guys can see that but you can you can see that some of the dots that I spread on the meat that would get rid of uh, it got rid of some of the the snails I'm still working on getting rid of all of the snails so so some of those are some of the things that you have to do um, insecticides they have homemade insecticides they are homemade 
um, pesticides that you can use. And there are some other homemade um, things that you can do to like the beer and other stuff for snails and insects. So check out those videos that I have below. It will show you some of the ways that I did to combat uh, the pests in the garden. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. That's the only way. I know that you guys are interested in watching more videos and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all new videos that I'm putting out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for commenting. And don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Happy growing, everybody.